Uh, welcome to Community Connection. I'm Mark J. Dotti, and I'm here with Mona from uh, Cafe Ceramic. And what is Cafe Ceramic? It's an art studio. We do a lot of arts and crafts, art camps. It's going to be an art gallery in the near future for just a few days. And uh, it's a fun place for kids and grown ups and everyone. What is your involvement with the PV Street Fair? A title sponsor for the Art Walk. And on May 31st and June 1st, uh, the store is going to be changed to an art gallery, and we're going to be displaying all of the intermediate, all of PV District intermediate schools artwork throughout the year. So we're going to have the three-dimensional, the two-dimensional in here. We're going to do an art reception from four to six on May 31st, and it's going to be starting from Cafe Ceramic. Then people can walk to see the different because we cannot fit everything in here, obviously. Uh, we're going to have some of them displayed uh, throughout the mall in different areas. Uh, and what's that called? It's called an art walk. So uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, the participants will walk in and they're going to get refreshments, see their uh, artwork. We're going to give them a gift with a lot of prizes and a lot of um, fun stuff, including uh, a certificate of a studio fee free kind of a gift certificate throughout the year for them to paint for free at our studio because they participate in that art gallery. And then uh, we do the reception, get to meet them. It's through the PV Chamber because we're part of a uh, member of the PV Chamber too. Great. And uh, you know, maybe if we could just take a walk sure, through, you could give us a little idea of uh, what we have here. Well, starting from maybe on the wall. We, our main business is uh, painting ceramics and uh, mosaics and we do beads. Uh, we do summer art camps and uh, during really fun summer art camps every week we cover a different artist uh, being Mondrian, Picasso, Monet, you name it and uh, the kids at the end of that week they get to uh, display on Friday. The, the art camp is a weekly session Monday through Friday. Friday is an art show for all of their projects so every day they do two or three different projects. We do a lot of birthday parties, we do a lot of um, school fundraisers. This is We've been supporting the school system for the last three years, all of the auction items, we do, um, we give, give them a lot of saving and discounts to kind of like support the schools. And right now we're offering between May 1st and May 15th, 5% um, to match the mall. It's a donation from all of the purchases that are done at the store from May 1st to May 15th to go back to the Save Our Teacher campaign. And on top of that, the mall management, the promenade are gonna give 5%, so that would be 10% back to the Save Our Teacher campaign. So you're for supporting education and Supporting the education arts. and definitely art. Um, art is our, uh, the main, but what we do in here, it's really fun, and uh, we kind of want to introduce it to all the people. So, so give me an idea of what would happen when there's a birthday party here. What, 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 what kind of events would really they be looking for? It gets crazy, and it gets really mellow, but we, whenever we have a birthday party, uh, uh, kids and their guests get to paint a ceramic piece, or they get to do a mosaic project. It's a two hours a party, and... Uh, we kind of wanted to make it very easy for the parents. So we tell the parents, you just show up with a guest as a guest. You don't have to worry about anything. You just bring the food if you want to. We have, they can, they're allowed to get bring food and drinks and we take care of the rest. We do the cleanup, we help the kids, we entertain them, we do stories. Um, we do like arts and crafts if they finish early from the ceramic pieces. It's a very fun um, party. Okay. And uh, let's take one walk over a little bit closer here because we have in the back here someone's actually working, we have a group working on a mural, right? So over here, what is the kind of the activity that we see going on? We're doing, um, the ladies are painting a mural for a school, for Soliato School, and it's going to be mounted at the end of the year. One of the murals they already did, this was gonna, it's going to be mounted, I guess, next week. Wednesday and Thursday, and it's a fundraiser for Soliato School. So I was uh, admiring this earlier. What do we have over here? These are class projects done by kids, and they're going to be an auction item for a uh, fundraiser night they do at the school. And uh, we do most of the auction items for the schools. And what we do, we give them a very generous discount. We don't charge any studio fees. We don't charge any um, time for us going to the school doing those class projects. And, um, and some of the projects are raising a lot of money. We did a bench to Cornerstone and some mirrors and a lot of tables and the bench by itself raised $5,000. So we were very proud of that. That's going to be going funny money going back to the school. And it didn't cost them anything. So <laughs> it cost them, of course, the cost of the item, but not like not, nothing compared to what amount of money they raised. So that was good. So how does it work? The students come in or the teachers come no, in? We take the project to the school. 
we take the paint and the supplies and everything and we it's like 20 minutes to one hour in the class the kids do those like these are handprints and fingerprints it could be any other theme any other uh, project and then we bring it back we fire it glaze and assemble whatever you have to do and then the, the parents or the the mom um, the parent mom will take back to the auction night and then the parents will bid on it but it's something, it's a keepsake done by their uh, kids. Uh, it's something, it's very special because all of the kids and their, uh, their kids actually worked on it. So it's something very special for them. So. Okay, and if anybody wa uh, watching this wanted any more information on Cafe Ceramic, where would they find that? Right here or on the website. We have a website, cafeceramic.com. All of the information is there and we can, can call us anytime they want or walk in. It's very easy and we're in the mall. And, uh, 310-265-7402. Great. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you, Mark.